Well, hello and welcome everybody. Oh my gosh, another fabulous Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday, the last one of 2018. It's so hard to believe. Oh my gosh, New Year's is gonna be here next week. Um, I don't know, that's always such a great time, right? That whole like beginning of the year, I'm already like looking in my craft room, like okay, I wanna like clean it out and get it organized and start fresh. It's always that like fresh new beginning I think we're all hopeful for, right? So let's see, hopefully everybody had a good Christmas earlier this week. Um, I know I've kind of been laying low a little bit. It's been kind of quiet. Um, you know, on the Facebook group, I kind of just decided I'm taking the week off. I'm not doing a bunch of posting. Everybody's enjoying time with family and friends and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I apologize if that's been too quiet for you all. I, um, over this next weekend, I'll get back on track and we'll be right back at it all next week um, because yeah celebration is gonna be here next week on Thursday January 3rd celebration begins so that is an awesome time for us we have like a few moments you know to kind of um, relax and enjoy the holidays and then oh my gosh celebration will be here before we know it just next week so okay let's see I I like it's funny um, my computer or my phone says that someone is watching but I'm not sure who it is it, usually it'll tell me so anyway hopefully I will know that soon but I think we're gonna just jump right in right um, well, I've got lots to show you guys today I was I'm kind of like mixing between um, Actually, it's a lot of new stuff, to be honest. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those you can't quite order it yet, but that's okay, right? Um, if you cannot wait another moment, you can always get the starter kit because when you get the starter kit, you can order new um, Occasions catalog product in your starter kit. And that's true of any time. And that's one of the great benefits of getting the starter kit is then you can get all this stuff earlier before anybody else in terms of customers can get it. So, okay, let's, we are gonna jump right in. This week we um, put names in the drawing for, can you guys, I don't know if you kinda, I'm gonna leave that in there. So these are the metallic pearls that when I opened them up last Friday, I was like, these are so cool. I have really barely used them. And I, I'm like, okay, I gotta break those things out. We're gonna find something fun to do with those. But okay, so names in the drawing, here we go. You got, as usual, one entry for commenting on this Facebook Live video anytime between now and next Thursday night. And that'll apply for this week's drawing or next week's drawing too, I guess I should say. Three entries if you share the video, as always. It is not showing me who's on here, I apologize. I wonder if I have something Oh gosh, maybe I wonder if it's like the commenting or something. Oh, that's gonna be frustrating, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna push a button here and hopefully that doesn't, nope, that's just write a comment, okay. Sorry, hmm, that's weird. I don't know, okay, sorry, I'm gonna keep, does it tell me? Nope, that doesn't either, okay. Well, I don't know, hopefully something starts popping up, either that or my settings are off and I didn't know that until I started and now I don't know how to fix it. So whoever's on, hello, <laughs> welcome. Maybe comment if you can and we'll see if any of those show up. Um, if not, I'm like gonna be just talking to myself even though I can see that people are watching. That's weird, oh goodness. Okay, well, we'll get it figured out. Anyway, okay, so one entry for commenting. There, Jamie, oh good, thank you. Thank you so much, there. Oh, and I think you said you were a school teacher maybe, so you've got some time off right now, so that's awesome. So thank you for joining us, Jamie. That's so cool that you could be here with me on Friday afternoon, right? Okay, so one entry for commenting, three entries if you share the video, and this will be again um, for next week's video or next week's drawing too. You also, if you're not already an email subscriber, you get three entries into the drawing if you sign up for my email list. And then I pick one random day, which this past week I drew Tuesday and I was like, oh, that was Christmas day. I don't think I even posted, but that's how it goes. Anyway, one day I pick at any time, um, if you comment or share on that day, you get another three entries in the drawing. So, okay, here we go. Lots of names in the bag, in my paper pumpkin bag as usual. So, okay, let's see. We are gonna pull a name out here. Yeah, so comment as much as you can on the video um, now while we're live and then anytime if you catch it later and your name goes in this drawing. And oh my gosh, Mary Ann, you are so funny. We kind of laughed about how, she, cause she comments and shares a lot so she's got good chances of winning. And your luck has not run dry. She kept saying, oh my luck's gonna run out. But you're still a lucky girl, Miss Mary Ann. So congratulations. Okay, 
So we're gonna put that aside. Now, this week we have new stuff. I told you guys, okay, these are so cute. These are, oh, I have to tell you guys too, um, Lily and I just went to the eye doctor yesterday because she's she has needed glasses for a long time and she couldn't find frames the last time we went that she liked so she kept her like little 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 girl frames and got new lenses in them and then those started to drive her crazy so she's not been wearing her glasses for quite a while now in my eyes something has been happening so i just went and got fitted for my first pair of glasses too so now I'm like oh i need my glasses to read and so i'm going to do the best i can here um this is these are the happiness blooms enamel dots so because can you see it's in this teeny teeny hi rosa hello thank you for joining us teeny tiny little print right there and it's even backwards so you guys can't see it now i don't think it tells me the colors i am gonna say oh maybe these are all of our in colors it kind of looks like it right um blueberry bushel lovely lipstick Grapefruit Grove, Call Me Clover, and Pineapple Punch. It kind of, so I can't show you the catalog yet. That's like one of the rules. I can show you like the front cover of the Occasion Celebration catalogs, but I cannot show you any of the inside pages. Um, and I didn't even bring it over here, but that could have been my reference, right? If I would have had that here, I could tell you. But anyway, they're super cute. So kind of a small, medium, and large little enamel dot. So they've, of course, got the little glue dots behind them. So super easy to just pick them right up with your take your pick tool and um, you know kind of dig underneath there to get that glue dot and put them on your project. So this is what we will be drawing for on next Friday's Facebook Live. So woo, 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 awesome. Okay, so we'll do that next week. Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, actually, I didn't have any um, online orders last week. I was going to give away a sampler, and I didn't even bring it over here, but of our new um, celebration ribbon, the organdy ribbon. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't get to give that to anybody. Um, but then that means there's more for me to use on projects to show you guys in the future. So that's what will be happening. Um, okay, but this week, okay, more new stuff. So this is a um, celebration stamp set. It is called Hello Cupcake. It is super duper cute. And I'm actually gonna, one of the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate on Facebook Live right here today is gonna feature this Hello Cupcake stamp set. So check this one out. This is one of those stamp sets you can get for free starting on January 3rd with a $50 order. <laughs> Rosa, I love all your like little um, flying emojis. They're so fun to see. So thank you for doing those. Okay, so Hello Cupcake. Of course it's backwards, but I love, oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite stamp set in there right now. So I had to show you guys this one first. So the sentiments, can you see them? Well, this one says sprinkled with love. This is celebrate your day and sweet wishes. And then um, the kind of the cupcake bottom. And then that's like another little layer of frosting maybe. And then that fun little whippy dippy frosting there with a little heart, a flower, a teeny tiny baby flower, and then some like sprinkles. Um, so we're gonna have lots of fun with this stamp set later on today, um, but your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this stamp set if you put an online order in of at least $30 between now and next Wednesday, which is January 2nd, plus you'll get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit later. So awesome, awesome, awesome. You don't even have to spend $50, $30 and your name goes in the drawing. So I'll be um, anxious to see who wins that stamp set next week. So, um, okay. Let's see, let's see, as always, I'm checking my notes. Oh, so just don't forget, um, it's that kind of real in-between time, right? So we just have a few more days of ordering out of our holiday catalog. Most everything in there is retiring. We have a list, so I know what is carrying over, so if you have any questions about that. But basically, I would suggest if there's anything that you want out of the holiday catalog, get it now. So then you don't have to worry about whether it's carrying over or not. Plus, honestly, once you see occasions and celebration catalogs, you're going to want all that stuff anyway. So get your orders finished for holiday catalog stuff. Maybe you've got some ideas of something you want to do for next year that you didn't get time to do, which is the story of my life. Um, so and then the year-end closeout sale is still going on. So lots of awesome deals on holiday catalog product. Plus that clearance rack has been updated too. I shopped from that the other day myself. Um, I love those. I give a bunch of that stuff away at our um, weekend retreat and one day retreats. So those are great for, uh, for me to stock up on too. So lots of great deals still to be had between now and January 2nd, which is 
next Wednesday. That's the last day that you can order out of the holiday catalog. So just don't miss out on anything because I always say this, but every year someone says, oh, I wish I would have gotten, you know, whatever stamp set or bundle. So get it while you can, okay? Um, and then your name will go in the drawing to win that, what is it called? I have to look at it. I don't know the names, the Hello Cupcake um, Celebration Stamp Set if you put an online order in and use the host code. I'll give you that host code in just a little bit too. Um, okay, oh, and I just want to kind of re-clarify the club member drive that I'm doing. Um, it starts basically now. I say January 3rd because it's kind of for celebration. But if you say that you want to join, so my class to go club, basically, you know how I show those to go kits that I do every month. If you sign up and say, I, I love those projects. I have loved seeing them every month. I want to sign up and do it every single month. And you always have different options. So there's, you know, kind of the Mac Daddy option that always has usually a stamp set and framelits or a punch or something and then maybe just the stamp set and then maybe just the embellishment so you always have options you know so as your budget kind of flows if you want to spend more money one month and not so much the next month you can do that um, but anyway class to go club just basically means I want to get those to go kits every single month for 12 months you get host benefits of at least $30 one month I always send you cute treats in the mail um, for being a club member and then because I'm doing this club member drive right now you also get a free celebration item if you decide you want to join a club so in terms of like kind of online long distance that's one option the other option for you is the simple beautiful card class that I do every month I am starting a kind of a to-go version of that also basically I'll give you the host code each month um, you put an order in of at least $40 using that host code and I'll send you the four projects that we make, the completed projects that we make at the Simple Beautiful Card class. And again, that's a club, sign up for 12 months, get the host benefits one month, get those cute club member treats, and then you get a free celebration choice as part of the club member drive. So let me know if you have any questions on that because I've kind of been trying to understand what I'm doing myself as I'm like, telling you guys about it so I don't know if I have been super clear on those choices. So let me know a couple of awesome um, possibilities there for you to get some cute projects and cute stuff to play with throughout the next year of 2019. Um, okay, so we've kind of already mentioned that celebration begins next Thursday. Actually tomorrow on Saturday, what are we, we're already on the 29th, aren't we? Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't know. Is it, does everybody feel this way? We're like, this kind of time like holiday time like what day of the week is it what time is it what i feel like every day's kind of been saturday <laughs> i don't know so actually tomorrow literally is saturday right so saturday tomorrow we're doing the new catalog kickoff um event down at the stamp studio from 11 a.m to 2 p.m so um and again it's always kind of a weird time like i had somebody email me saying like yesterday thursday they're like we'll see you tomorrow and i'm like oh no you won't see me tomorrow i'm not doing class tomorrow i'm doing class on friday or saturday so everybody's kind of like i said um a little unsure about their plans i feel like so i have my point is i have a lot of maybes i'm coming tomorrow on saturday for the new catalog kickoff but i'm sure i have room for more so if anybody's interested and they've just finally realized hey i can come to that event down at the stamp studio tomorrow between 11 and 2, then um, just email, call, text me, just let me know because I need to make sure I have enough prepped for everybody because, you know, I have prepped for so many people and if I have a whole bunch more than that come, then eh, that's tough. Um, we'll, we'll make it work, but um, just let me know, okay? Um, and we're going to play with a bunch of new stuff, right? New occasions catalog stuff and new celebration stuff. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay, what else, what else do I want to tell you guys about? Um, oh, so bingo, we're going to play bingo um, on, what is it, Wednesday, January 23rd. Um, same thing like we have always done in the past where uh, we do a bunch of bingo games, we have make and takes, you get a cute um, kind of prize package for coming. I always make cute stuff for everybody. And then hopefully you win a bunch of stuff at bingo too. Plus we do that grand prize cover all game at the end where we give a whole bunch of product away for whoever wins the, you know, whoever covers their board first. So the, the big thing I need to make sure everybody knows is that I need RSVPs by Friday, January 11th. So 
all of a sudden that is going to be here before we know it so i wanted to make sure to kind of be letting people know about bingo coming up um yeah because it's one of those like we've been so focused on like christmas and new year's and holiday time flip that calendar and like all of a sudden january is going to be half over before <laughs> i actually flip my calendar to january um, oh, and then the other thing too, Simple Beautiful Card Class is always the second Wednesday of the month. I did change things a little bit for 2018. Um, I had some changes at work, um, some kind of different commitments. So I had to kind of scale back hours for classes. So the Simple Beautiful Card Class starting in January is the second Wednesday of the month, which is January 9th. And that class is gonna run from six until 8.30 p.m. And then two days later on Friday, which is January 11th from one until three. So that didn't change. Um, it's just the six until 8.30, kind of tighten that time up a little bit because I've got too many other responsibilities that don't allow me to stamp as much as I want to. Um, okay, but let me know if you're interested in coming to that class as well. Okay, I feel like I did everything. I think we are ready. Are you guys ready to move the camera? I, let me, I have to just do one more quick peek at my notes to make sure that I told you guys about everything. But I think, yep, there's a lot on this list, I warn you. Mm, okay, yeah. I think we're ready. Okay, so let's, we're gonna flip the camera down. Okay, uh, so turn your heads away for a sec. And here we go. Okay, I cannot wait to show you guys all my new stuff. So many fun new things to play with as usual, right? Sometimes it feels like it's kind of hard to keep up, but there's always good stuff. Here's the host code too. The 7YRFCBHN. This will be good. Um, it's kind of the December host code, but I'm going to keep it open through next Wednesday, January 2nd. So if you put your online order in of at least $30, you're going to get the projects that I demonstrate in just a little bit, and your name goes in the drawing to win that Hello Cupcake stamp set, right? And then if you bump your order up to um, $50, which um, well, starting on January 3rd, you're definitely going to want to do that so you get a celebration item. You also get the free embellishment from me, too. So there's going to be even more good stuff to be had very soon. Okay, so I have to show you. I got a couple more holiday cards. Um, I It was just awesome. I love, like, I kind of put that little, like, hey, if you want to send me a holiday card, um, I'll show it on Facebook Live. And some, some people were like, oh, well... After a couple of those cards you showed, they were like too intimidated to send a card and like, please don't let that be the case. I love every single person's card that I receive. I think it's that whole, you know, you know someone spent the time to put the card together and then they thought of you for those couple of moments as they, you know, wrote your name on the envelope and put the little sentiment on the inside. So I just love hearing from everybody. Um, and I know I've said this, but I'm getting more and more um, kind of email from people that I didn't even know were watching, which I totally love too. So email me anytime and say hi. And my email is amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. So A-M-Y and then a period, F-R-I-L-L-I-C-I -L -L -I -I at yahoo.com. I love to hear from you either through email or through handmade cards. So, okay, check this one out. I love, so she used the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper. This is one of those snowflake um, thinlets that is not available any longer, but it was that largest snowflake that is just gorgeous. And then those snowflake trinkets too. And it says, season's greetings from our home to yours. And then I think maybe she did stamp, yeah. Wishing you a season of joy, a season of cheer, but most of all, a wonderful year. And this is from Wendy Drowley. And I love how she used that little, um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the one that, it's the punch that has three different punches in it. I love how she kind of decorated the inside of the card too. So thank you, Wendy. I appreciate getting that card from you. And then another one. This one I love too. She used this is the Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper. And then just with layers of cardstock kind of featured, this is one of the cards from the um, Santa's Workshop Memories and More card pack. And I just, I love um, how simple it is, but then kind of spicing it up with that little bit of Designer Series paper and the layers. Pop it up on dimensionals and it makes a really quick, simple, easy card. And this is um, from Pete and Paulette and Aaron. So thank you, Paulette. I love, love, love getting these cards from you guys. 
So anytime, if you make something cute, maybe with celebration or occasions catalog stuff, send it to me. Um, I'd love to get um, any of those cards and share them with you anytime. And my address to send cards to is 209 East Superior Street, and that's in Alma, A-L-M-A, -A, Michigan, 48801. So I'd love to hear from you guys. So thank you for humoring me and sending those handmade cards. Okay, so now I have to show you guys, and I kind of blanked out. I should have brought the other half. I'll show you the one. So each month at Scrapbook Class, I love to kind of show you guys what we were up to. So this week, right after Christmas, because normally, and again, I'll mention that too. So Scrapbook Class is, oops, that's like stuck underneath there. Scrapbook Class is always the last Tuesday. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna leave it alone because I feel like I'm pulling on the wrong end. Um, okay, Scrapbook Class is always the last Tuesday of the month. Um, and I did change that time as well. So it's anytime from 6 until 8.30 starting in January. Um, uh, Tuesday, January 29th is the last Tuesday of the month. So um, anyway, we make three uh, 12 by 12 page layouts. That's not even in the right view. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. So this is one half of a two page spread. So last month we made the other page that coordinated with this and I forgot to grab that. I think it's down at the studio. But anyway, this is one of the pages that we made at scrapbook class on, um, well, that was my other point. So the last Tuesday in December was Christmas day and I knew, okay, no one's gonna come to class on Christmas day. I didn't wanna get out of my PJs to be very honest on Christmas day. Um, so we did it on Wednesday this week on the 26th. So we made this one page that, like I said, coordinated with last month's single page spread. And then we did this other two page spread, kind of getting ready for New Year's. So we've got Happy New Year right here with I Love. It's kind of like the countdown, right? Like Dick Clark's rocking New Year's Eve countdown with the numbers. And then the gold and black I thought worked really well for kind of a New Year's um, spread. And then here, here, I guess you can kind of see them together. This is the other half and it says, hooray, celebrate the good stuff with, and this, oh, I love, I love, love, love this. If you guys can see this, that, um, black, or, um, what is that glittered organdy ribbon? I think it's called black, whatever, black glittered ribbon is carrying over. So if you didn't get that, you're still going to be able to get that. And then more of the fun, kind of black and gold candles and some um, sparkly gold foil paper there too. So yeah, those, so we always make three pages if that didn't make sense. Three pages, a two page spread that coordinates and then a single page that coordinates with the next month's single page, okay? So let me know if you have any questions on scrapbook class because that would be another club that you could join as well. That one I don't really know how to do as kind of a to-go option. So that's just local right now here um, to class. If I figure out how I could um, do that, I would. Um, so let me know if anybody's interested in doing like a scrapbook club to go. I can figure something out. Um, yeah, that, that then you'd get a free celebration item for joining club for that one as well. Okay. Um, Let's see, oh, okay. So I'm gonna scoot this up out of the way a little bit and I have um, more new stuff to show you guys. Okay, actually, I think I skipped over this even though I looked at my notes, right? So here is a fun, I made this actually, so at our uh, Inkspired Stampers, our group gathering that we had this month, we did a shoebox swap and I decided I wanted to bring like a kind of a Valentine treat for everybody to make. So this is what we made at um, the shoebox swap that night. So it features, it's this super cute, so there's a belly band that kind of slips, here I am flipping around and around, slips off that box. So you just kind of open this up. Oops, my adhesive, oh, something's funny there, okay. I might have put adhesive on the wrong place somehow. I have adhesive on two of them. Okay, forget about that. But anyway, I'll fix that box later. But this is the box, right? So it opens up like this, right? And Giardelli chocolates or like a Reese's peanut butter kit cup fit perfectly in there. Then this slides right back inside the belly band. And then super cute. So this features a bunch of product 
from our new occasions catalog the all my love i think it's called suite of products but i just did a video on this and uploaded it to youtube last night so if you have any questions because it's really fun and simple and actually easy to make these little boxes check out that video and then you can learn exactly how to make this super cute little valentine treat hi philomena how are you i'm glad you can join us yeah we're just kind of talking about some new stuff i have to show you guys too so can you see there, there are a whole bunch of they're like mm, maybe be mine stitched framelits so they they cut out can you see kind of that scallop edge and then all the detail and then here's another one with a little more um, kind of stitched edging and then the scallop edge there too so tons i don't know there are probably at least 20 dies in there and they're not all hearts either so super cute set stamp set and framelits so check out the video and you can learn exactly how to make this little valentine treat um okay so oh the other fun thing i have to show you guys before we get to stamping so in the new occasions catalog there is a new project kit and this is the one of those things that completely caught my eye when we went to on stage back in november they showed us all of this new product and this was like i said one that i i just i really loved kind of everything about it so it's called the incredible like you project kit and there is a stamp set that coordinates, comes separately. So sometimes it's a kit that includes everything and sometimes it's a kit that you need to get the stamp set for. So I'm gonna show you these pictures, um, but then I'm gonna actually show you the real cards themselves. And I love the envelopes too, that kind of coordinate with everything. And then there's re this really fun box that you can um, put your cards in. So let me show you. Here, let's actually peek at the stamp set first. So this is an awesome stamp set too. Incredible like you. I love kind of that watercolory look, right? And then another fun font here. It says, so glad we are friends. Incredibly proud of you. Hope your day is as amazing as you. And I just adore you. And then some other layering kind of things that you can do with that stamp set. So this is the stamp set that works with this super cute box. Check this out. So it's, I don't even know what you call um this material kind of a plastic right um and i think that can kind of well i thought maybe it flattened out but maybe not um i haven't really played with it that much but i love kind of the printed floral detail on here too that actually works really well with the cards themselves there's this little um button right here that you can snap button kind of a thing and then here are the cards you actually get um four of each of them so it's um, a kit that will make 16 cards and then with the super cute envelopes too. So here's the first one that says incredibly proud of you and just lots of really sparkly, beautiful detail too. And all of these things are already die cut so you don't have to do any um, big shot work at all either. It's basically just stamping and then putting it together. And this little, I should have mentioned that too, this little pamphlet that comes in there's a list um, that tells you everything that's included and then the steps and they put like, I don't know if you can see that, but they put little numbers beside everything. So like number one says stamp and lovely lipstick ink, number two and so on. And then what you do is you go to this card and it tells you number three. So you flip back here and read what number three is and you do that. And then you kind of go down the line and it will help you put the whole card together. If you can see that one is that guy right there. And then they've got more pictures with more kind of step-by-step -step numbers for those and that one. So, okay, oh man, I guess I kind of cheated. So here's the first card. And I think it's the fun, bright colors that are used too. And then I love that Grapefruit Grove ribbon. Also, or not ribbon, but twine there. Okay, oh, look at this one. Okay, more beautiful and this sparkly. This is a lemon lime twist glimmer paper that they've, this is already all die cut for you too. So fun and it says, so glad we are friends. And here's another, hope your day is as amazing as you. And I love all that watercolor wash. So can you see how that detail on that card kind of coordinates with what they printed on the box? And then one more, this one says, I just adore you um, with more, um, it's almost like, like melons or something, right? So super duper cute set of cards. Like I said, you get 16 of them that you can make. And then check out, these are the envelopes too. I love like the, the liners, those pretty liners. And they're all the same, that kind of grapefruit grove on the inside too. So super cute project kit. I just had to share that with you guys because I think that's going to be a really big hit. So starting on January 3, which is this Thursday, you will be able to order that kit as well. So, okay, 
I think we are, I'm looking around trying to make sure, we are ready to do our stamping. So, let me, yeah, I just have to do one more double check because I feel like I went through everything really quickly, but I guess that's how that happens sometimes. Okay, so there we go. Quick sip of water and we are gonna start stamping. Okay, which one do I wanna do first? <laughs> okay, let's do, let's do this guy first. I gotta pull my parts and pieces out here so I can show you. Okay, so this is a card that features that Hello Cupcake, the celebration stamp set that you can get free with a $50 order, or if you order online and use the host code, your name goes in the drawing to win this stamp set. You will also get this card and then the other one that I'm gonna demonstrate next. So we used like the little fluffy um, uh, cupcake topper in the bottom. We used some of, this is the Highland Heather Organdy ribbon. This is part of that whole, there are five different bolts of Organdy ribbon that you can get also for free as a celebration choice. And then we just stamp celebrate your day all over with some cute, I love those little, oops, that's not in the view, those little flowers there. And then the cute little um, poker thing with the little heart on it. So super duper cute and the sprinkles too. And then we actually used, if you can see that is one of those, oh, I think it's the gingham garden um, adhesive back sequins are those, that's what those are called. So, okay, let's go ahead and put our card to, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, probably one of the most fun things about this is this card uses, if you can see, these are some of the new stitched edge, the rectangle framelits, the stitched edge rectangle flame, framelits, I think is what they're called. Um, actually, I pulled them out because there are so many. I'm gonna go grab them though, hold on. Yeah, because these are the two that we use. So you can see, and it's kind of cool because it stitches on the inside and around the outside. So if you wanted to like put this on a card and like have this peeking through, you'd have the stitching on like kind of the negative portion of it, if that makes sense. When we run them, it, I'll, I'll remember to tell you or show you guys that. But let me grab those because I want you to see how many framelits come in that set. the exact name too because <laughs> I don't you know it always takes a little while yeah so the rectangle stitched framelits dies is what they are called so if you can see we're actually using four of these because we're using a couple more on the other card too but it's got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's got 13 different you can see though, so these are really big, those are tinier, and then these are like a little bit more narrow. So lots of different size options too. This is a little bit different than what they've done before, but I love this new framelit set. I think you guys, this is gonna be kind of a must have for the layering, and I'll show you, because you can see how we used them on here. We did one here and kind of offset the other one there, and I'll show you what we did with the other ones next. Okay, so let's do our die cutting first and then we will do our stamping and so on. I think that's the easiest way to do these. So we've got our big shot with the magnetic platform. I think I can do two of these at once. So we want the little bit smaller guy out of Whisper White cardstock. Uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's do this because otherwise, you know, have you ever done that where you try to fit both of them on at the same time? And then one might be hanging off the edge and you either ruin your framelit or it doesn't cut properly. So we're going to do them separately. Okay, so sorry about the wiggle. Those, they're pretty tight too. And I think it's just because they're so big. They make a lot of popping noises. Okay, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to pop out my framelit or my die or whatever. This piece of paper that I just cut with that framelit, right? But then... This is what I was trying to say. Now this is too skinny, you probably wouldn't want to use this, but can you see how it made a stitched edge in there also? So you could lay this over a card and then you know have something else kind of peeking through what you've cut out there too. So I like that. That is a fun possibility too. Okay, and then with this framelit, we are gonna cut, this is Coastal Cabana cardstock here. So we had Whisper White and Coastal Cabana. Okay, let's just crank right through both of those. And 
same idea, right, where we've got our die, and then again, maybe you can even see it a little bit better on this one, right? That stitch edging around there. So tons of possibilities, I love that. Okay, scooting these guys out of the way. Now we get to do a bunch of fun stamping. Okay, so let me get all my colors out here. And that stuff, okay. So I'll tell you as we're doing our stamping, the colors that we're using here. Okay. Get all my stamps out also. We used a ton of the stamps in this stamp set. Honestly, we did not use, oh, only two of them. So from this stamp set, we didn't use the sprinkled with love, but you certainly could have. And then the other little, this extra little, um, frosting piece. Those are, oops, sorry. I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm not realizing if it's in the view or not. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with, I've got my Highland Heather ink pad. I thought this was the easiest one to do first. Okay, so with our Whisper White rectangle framelit. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. And we are gonna put our frosting right about there. And the kind of cool part about this is it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Then we are gonna use our crumb cake ink pad. And with the bottom of our cupcake, stamp that, maybe right about there, okay? And I think we're done with that one. What else do we need? Oh, now we have to do our sprinkles. So with gorgeous grape ink, we are gonna do our sprinkles on our cupcake. So cute, I love that. And then the little heart on the little, you know, it's like it's kind of poking out of the top of the cupcake. So there's that, right? Then, actually I am going to, this is just a little piece of Highland Heather cardstock that measures, is that in the view? I think it is, right? We're a little bit crooked. Okay, measures one inch by two and three quarter inches. And I am actually gonna use my banner triple punch and that just fits in there. Push that all the way in and we're gonna kinda flag the end of that piece. Then also with my, this was my gorgeous grape, right? Where's, where's my, there's my label, gorgeous grape. Okay, we are gonna stamp our sentiment, the sweet wishes. So always nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We are gonna press straight down. And list straight up, very good. Okay, so we're done with that ink pad also. Now we need, we're gonna scoot these guys out of the way. We're gonna use our Coastal Cabana ink pad. And then we're just gonna stamp kind of all over. Did that cut things off? We're still here, right? Somebody tell me, that doesn't happen to me very often that someone actually calls while I'm on Facebook Live. So I just canceled that right out, but I think we're good. So just maybe interrupted for a sec, sorry about that. Okay, so we've got Celebrate Your Day, and I'm going to stamp one right there. And this does not matter if it's not um, totally perfect and straight. I'm going to scoot that one over a little bit. So just kind of randomly stamping these things. Put that one there. Maybe that one way over there. That one there, and I kind of liked one, kind of right down in the corner. And that's gonna get covered up, so that part doesn't even really matter, okay? So you just kind of sprinkle that celebrate your day on your Coastal Cabana piece there, okay? Um, then, oh, let's see, yeah, I guess you don't really need to know too many measurements, do you? Just that this is our Highland Heather um, card stock, a full sheet, right? We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Always making our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Okay, so I'm gonna scoot that guy out of the way. Now I'm gonna grab my adhesive. Oh no, you know what? I used that late last night for something and I told myself, remember to put that back. I think, all right, I'm gonna use my fast fuse because I think I'm gonna be all right with this. So, okay, yeah, because my snail is back over in my craft room, which isn't too far away, but I think we'll be all right here. Okay, so we've got our adhesive. We are gonna just put this piece maybe right about there. And then this one is gonna go right about there. 
right? Make sure everything's straight before I rub really hard. Then the other thing I wanna do before I put any more layers on is this cute little flower. I love these little baby flowers. In our Highland Heather ink, I just kind of stamped. It was funny, when I made this card, I'm like, oh, it just needs a little something else. And I looked at the stamp set and saw, oh, look at that cute little flower. So we just kind of added him in a couple of little corners there. And, okay, so we need some dimensionals on the back of our Sweet Wishes piece. Okay. Oh, let's see, I'm missing. Oh, me too, Jamie. She says that she loves these colors together. I know, I think, you know, we use so many of the kind of the dark, kind of the regal colors throughout like the fall and the winter, and I'm ready for spring already. So these kind of speak spring to me, I think. So yeah, Highland Heather and Coastal Cabana with a little dash of Gorgeous Grape. Thank you, I love these colors together too. That's very sweet of you to say. So okay, we just put that little banner right across there. That's why this doesn't have to be stamped perfectly because if you had a problem back there, you don't even know it now, right? And if things aren't lined up quite right, it's really pretty forgiving. Okay, so now with our Take Your Pick tool, we are going to, and I have just a few. Ooh, the sun's peeking out. Now we're gonna get a glare, right? So can you guys even see those very well? These are, I think they're either Highland Heather or Gorgeous Grape, but they're little adhesive back sequins in um, kind of a flower and then just a regular sequin shape. So let's try a flower on this one. Wanna? Okay, so I've got my Take, my Take Your Pick tool and you just wanna kind of dig underneath there to get that glue dot. And I'm just gonna kind of put that right in the corner there, okay? Just add a little bit. So love that little Barbie spatula, perfect for those little guys. And then I have already tied, this is some of that Highland Heather organdy ribbon. And I wanna, I had just this little bit left. And so last night I tied it up so I wouldn't have to do that in front of you guys. Cause it's hard, I normally keep this ribbon on the bolt and then you know, tie it that way. But I just had this one last little bit from the end of my bolt. So I didn't want to, you guys to see me fumbling around trying to get that tied up. And just with the glue dot, I added my little ribbon there. So what do you guys think? Isn't that so cute? I, I am, this is, like I said, this is my favorite celebration stamp set. So you can get this stamp set, the Hello Cupcake, free with a $50 order starting on Thursday, January 3rd, okay? Or maybe if you put an order in before then, your name will be drawn and you will win it. So lots of possibilities there. Okay, I think we're done with this one. So let me scoot these things out of the way so I avoid confusion on the next one. Okay, give me one sec. And here we go, lots of stamps. I love stamping, so that was fun, you know, to um, just take all that time do all that fun stamping there. Okay. Now, you wanna see the next card, guys? Okay, so here is, well, I have to show you a couple of things here. So, this is our next card. Oh, thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you like that. And Nikki, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. It's been kind of quiet. I know everybody's schedules are weird over the holidays, so that's good. If you can't, you know, if you're not able to be here live, just catch it later whenever you can. So, okay, let's see, what is this stamp set called? This is the Beauty Abounds stamp set. So, can you see we've got, our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. Isn't that so sweet? Oops, there's a little fleck there. And then some really fun, this is, oh my gosh, what is that? It's like the cross stitch designer series paper. I think that's, it's that whole suite. I will include item codes for everything that we use on both of these cards. My blog post always goes live on gatheringinspiration.com on Saturday. So all the item codes will be there. You can pull those right from there if you don't have a catalog handy. Um, but I'll give you names and item codes of everything that we used on both of these cards too, okay? Because I'm drawing a blank and I didn't bring that um, designer series paper over, but it's really cute. It's like, like I said, kind of a cross stitch suite of products. So I kind of married a couple of different things because this Beauty Abound stamp set isn't really a part of that suite, but I loved I, I loved the sentiment. Honestly, our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. Like, oh, I have a number of friends I could send this card to. So love that sentiment. And then I loved the fold too, right? So I have to share with you guys, this was a card 
that I received from my friend Val Altieri. Um, she was a new friend that I met um, at on stage in November, and she just sent me the sweetest card with this fun. And so, can you see? This is how you um, can write on the inside and then not see it. So she did it sideways, long ways there. So isn't that awesome? So when I saw her kind of design in terms of the fun fold of the card. I'm like, oh, we are going to have to try that sometime. So thank you, Val, for your inspiration to um, design this card based on what she had done um, on a fun card that she sent to me. So, okay, let's see what else do you guys, oh, here, let me show you the stamp set too, because I love, so can you see we use the little, the little dots and the butterfly? We use those kind of down in here just to add a little more detail, right? to the card. I love these backgrounds too. So that's another kind of water splotchy background, right? There's our, our friendship isn't one big thing. It's a million little things. And then this one, a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. I like that one too. And then there's a for you, hello and thanks. And then with some other kind of flourish, some beautiful detail, some more little background dots, and a couple of butterflies. So great stamp set, the Beauty Abound stamp set. This is in the Occasions catalog. It's not a celebration stamp set, it's an Occasions catalog. So you would purchase the stamp set along with other stuff, and then you get your celebration choice for free with your $50 order, okay? Um, what else do I wanna show you guys? Is there anything else? Kinda of have things scattered around here. Um, well, we are using more of, there's my snail too. It was in my other tub. Okay. Um, we are using more of those. That was the other thing I should show you. So more of those rectangle stitched framelits. So I layered them. There are going to be tons of great layering options here too where you've got that. Um, this one is in Berry Burst and then this one is in Whisper White. So can you see Again, kind of that stitched detail. <laughs> you can tell that I really like those framelits, right? I used it on both of these cards because I, I, there's just so many possibilities and many, many, many more to come too. So, okay, so this is, you know, kind of a different fold on this card. So let me show you that first. So can you see, we actually start, so this is a full sheet of cardstock, but instead, hi, Marianne, how are you? Oh my gosh, I've missed all your commenting. It's funny, it's quiet when you're not on here. I see other people watching. Um, so yeah, make, anybody that's watching, make sure you comment. I love to hear from you. Um, okay, so this card measures, it started with a full sheet of cardstock, right? But then we cut it down at seven and three quarters. <laughs> Glad to see you're ready to go right after Christmas. Yes, I took a couple days off. I was saying that, Marianne, that, yeah, I like was literally in my PJs all day on Christmas Day, which I absolutely love to do. Because, you know, like you just are like going and going and going like crazy. So it was fun to just have that day to snuggle on the couch with my kids and watch movies and eat Christmas cookies and just have good downtime together as a family. Um, and, yeah, and then I've kind of been just – uh, laying a little bit low the last few days. But yes, I'm playing with new stuff and excited to show everybody these new things. So, okay, so back to the card. So this card base, so it started out at eight and a half by 11, right? So it's still 11 inches. We still cut it in half at five and a half inches, but then we actually kind of lop it off at seven and three quarters of an inch along that side there, okay? Then we scored it at one and three quarter inches and at six inches. And then that's how we kind of make those folds that come in on either side of our card. Thank you for the share, Marianne. I appreciate that. You missed out. Uh, you won the metallic brads earlier too. You, if you go back and watch the video from the beginning, you'll see that. So congratulations. Okay, now the other sizes of cardstock that you need to know about. This is the Whisper White piece that goes on the inside. <laughs> you deserve a bit of a break. Just, yes, just a bit. That's right. You know, it's amazing what a day or two taking that off, how like recharged and refreshed you can feel. So thank you. <laughs> All right. So inside Whisper White piece is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that's going to go right inside there, right? And then these other little pieces that go on the panels, Knight of Navy cardstock, two of them that measure one and a half by five and a quarter. And then that cross stitch designer series paper, whatever that's called, <laughs> measures one and one quarter by five inches, okay? 
So let's see, we're gonna scoot these things out of the way though. Again, let's do our die cutting with our white and our berry burst, and then we'll do our stamping, put everything together, okay? All right, moving everything around, making sure I've got what I need. Where are the framelits though? Oh, I see them, okay. Okay, so again with our magnetic platform, this one I may be able to fit two of them on. The others were too long. These we can go sideways with. Okay, so we've got our white piece and then our berry burst piece right there. Okay, so with one crank through of the big shot, we will get these things. Sorry, there's something about these framelits, I think because they're so big, it makes everything wiggle and then all that popping. But as long as you have your layering, your sandwich, correct, you're okay. You can't hurt anything, even though it sounds like things are kind of going crazy in there, right? Okay, moving the big shot out of the way. So again, can you see that little bit of stitched edge around each, each, each of those pieces? Okay, so my ink, let's see, where's my example? Right here, okay. So we are gonna stamp in Night of Navy ink on our Whisper White piece. This says, our friendship isn't one big thing. Oh, and then these are the new cling stamps. So can you see you have to put the labels on and then that um, helps you kind of adhere them, the stamps to the clear blocks and then also to pull them off when you're done. Okay, so our friendship isn't one big thing. Oops, actually I need, let's stamp this one in our Night of Navy also. It's a million little things. Tap, tap, tap. Let's see, I want that, maybe right about there. Oop, it went a little downhill. Let's try. Let's try that again. There, that's better, okay? And then with our Berry Burst ink, actually not on that white piece, we want it on this little guy. Then I just kind of stamped, and these are just kind of floating like super, oh, I love, can you guys see? I just love how it stamps like that. It's like it, it makes it like I stamped off and I didn't even do that. And then with my little baby butterfly, I'm just gonna stamp him right in there. So, so cute, oh my gosh. Something about those little dots, I love those. Okay, so let's add our adhesive. I love that stitching too, Marianne. I showed all of the framelits a little bit earlier, so rewind a bit and you can see all of the framelits that are included in that pack. Oh, let's see. Nikki says, I totally miss these rectangles. Uh, adding to your next door. You know what? You're right, Nikki, because they are a little bit like, um, yeah, when you flip through the catalog, you don't see them right away. So, okay, hold on. I got to, there were, okay. Yep. Thank you, Nikki. I appreciate your compliment there. And then Marianne, yeah. The, oh, and the levels of ink that she loves that too. I hear you. <laughs> they look like bubbles. Yes, Philomena, they do. That's it. They look like bubbles. Yes, 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 exactly. So, okay. All right, and then here's the back of, so isn't that so cute? Just really, really sweet, and you can see all the detail in there too. And I think you can kind of, if I get super close, you can kind of see the cross stitch detail in um, kind of the images in that designer series paper too. So, okay, we're gonna put these panels together. All right, with our Knight of Navy. Here we go. Pop that guy right on there, and then another one. And I guess it doesn't matter if it's upside down as long as I don't put it upside down on the card itself, because I think my paper was originally. Okay, then we're gonna add some more adhesive. Oops, I don't like it when I do that. I have to get that off of there, because that bugs me when everything sticks to it later. Does that bug you guys? Like at my classes, I have to go around with my little thingy my adhesive remover and clean off all the sheets. <laughs> Cause people, I don't know, people get aggressive with their adhesive adding to their paper. It kind of runs off the edge sometimes. You get this huge streak on the work paper. I don't know how that happens. Okay, and then one more over here. You can tell I'm a little bit anal, right? I don't know how that happens. It's a big waste of your adhesive, honestly. Okay, and then the other one, so those panels, just go right like that and then make sure, well, let's do this on the inside. So our It's a Million Little Things, let's put this guy on the inside first. Okay, put him 
it in there, right? And then this one, what I was starting to say is make sure you only put adhesive on the back of this side because if you do it all, it's going to stick in places you don't want, okay? So I'm just going to run a nice long strip of adhesive right there. And then you just want to make sure to cover up that it's a million little things, right? And that goes on there. And then just press down really firmly and voila! Our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. So cute! So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of the new products from the Occasions catalog and the Celebration brochure, right? We get that into view here. And then don't forget my quick recap as always, right? If you put at least a $30 order in by Wednesday, make sure you get that stuff out of the holiday catalog. Get Take advantage of the year-end closeout sale and the clearance rack, right? Um, you're going to get these two projects that I demonstrate today, right? With your $30 at least minimum online order, make sure you use that host code, the 7YRFCBHN. And then your name also goes in the drawing to win the Hello Cupcake stamp set that we used on that card right there, right? And then as always, bump your order up to $50 and you get a free embellishment as well. So thank you. Okay, oops, I'm seeing I got a couple comments here. Let's see. Um, Nikki, how are you liking the new cling stamps? I haven't tried them yet. I really, really like them. Um, they are really, really, really sticky. So you just have to be careful. Make sure you get things lined up you know, when you put the stamp to um, the label. And then they just say you have to kind of use some extra care when you pull these off. Cause I don't know if you can see that, but that like, it's really, really sticky there. So, but it, it's nice because it helps them adhere really well to the clear blocks too. But you just have to kind of make sure to get underneath the label and pull everything off at once. But yeah, they're great. Cause then you can see, you know, you've got all your little labels, which I have never had before because I, I just didn't think they allowed them to stick very well, but they stick really well now. So yes, yeah, I think they're great. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these projects that we made today with this new, this is Occasions, actually Occasions Catalog and Celebration brochure, new stuff, right? So hopefully you guys have a great weekend, a great New Year's. Everybody be safe on New Year's Eve. Um, what else? Yeah. So next Friday will be like a celebration will have just started on Thursday. So lots more fun new stuff to show you guys next week. I love this time of year, kind of rejuvenating, you know, with new stuff. And yeah, have a great weekend. Happy Friday, everybody. And we'll see you next Friday. Thank you so much. And happy new year. We'll see you in 2019. Bye guys.